stuck between a rock and a hard place, or in this case, stuck between two enemy borders. The Maronite Christian community in Israel is home away from home. IDF is the Israeli Defense Forces to recruit and enlist and encourage our youth to go and serve the country and protect the country, which is the only country that actually we feel safe in it as a Christians in the Middle East. So we are using a positive Christian model, uh, accepting the state as it is, as a Jewish democratic state, at the same time asking for equal rights as a Christian native uh, Aramaic Maronite community. Historically considered Lebanese Christians, the Maronites in northern Israel number in the thousands. In 1920, they played a central role in the creation of Greater Lebanon under the French mandate, creating a regional refuge for Christians in the Middle East. And to this day, Maronite Christians still hold the presidential office as part of a national pact within Lebanon sectarian society. But with Israel and Lebanon being next door enemies, Maronites like Savine have had to come up with creative solutions to go on pilgrimage to Lebanon from Israel. We get the Palestinian passport just in Jordan, so we move the border with the Israeli passport, and then we take the Palestinian one, and leave the Israeli passport in Jordan in the church, and we went to Lebanon. And when we come back, also we give them back the Palestinian passport. We can we cannot have it and they take the Israeli passport and move the border back to Israel. Caught in the crossfire of enemies, it wouldn't be the first time Maronites have crossed into hostile territory for pilgrimages. The visits may be few and far between, but both the Maronite Patriarch and Archbishop have been to Israel. But these days, the trips are on uncertain terrain after the Archbishop, Musa el Hajj was detained upon his return to Lebanon. Our community, by the churches, they collected the donations and they sent the medicine and the drug with the archbishop. Hezbollah pushing the security forces in Lebanon to stop these donations and stop the, the archbishop. And he actually confiscated the money, the drugs, and all other letters. And they accused him of being a, a spy to Israel. Though the prospects for Israel to make peace with its northern neighbor are slim, the Maronite community in Israel seems to be a willing go-between. If they need us, we are willing to do so. Uh, let's see what the, the future will hide. With Lebanon's internal politics collapsing nowadays, the prospect for any neighborly peace is more of a distant dream for now.